Hello and welcome to another Stellaris modding video. This time we are doing custom governments. And uh, let's get going. So let me open my text editor again. So here we go. And uh, you need a couple files for this. You need uh, the governments.txt and you need uh, the localization file for your language. And uh, as you can see, this is the governments file. It's located in uh, Stellaris common governments and then the governance.txt there and the localization files are located in Stellaris localization L English for example for English which I'm using so you need these two files to make your custom governments and uh, you normally shouldn't uh, directly edit these files you should have packaged them properly in the mod folders but just for demonstration I'm gonna do it directly into here for now more about the proper mod making in another, another video. So here we have uh, all the military governments and as you scroll down there's all the governments you can find in the game here, not just the military. Then we have uh, spiritualists, materialists, pacifists and generic. And uh, there's also the other ones which are the AI government types. So you find all the oh, uh, government type info in here for example uh, this one is a uh, mega corporation the advanced more form of generic oligarchy it has elections election when it, when the elections are election type oligarchy and all the max election candidates and all that information here you find the uh, monarchies democracies here's the monarchies for example ruler titles and everything so if you're planning to make your own customer government you should probably scroll through this information through here and uh, look for inspiration uh, for example if you might want to add a different type of democracy see what the other democracy governments are doing and see what you can do with them uh, but let's just scroll up here and i'm going to start uh, making my own uh, governments we're going to make two of them for uh, the base one and then the advanced one which you get later on in the game when you do galactic administration technology research and I have prepared something in here so let's just copy the military here and pop it up here for a custom option and our first uh, government will be called uh, the spiritual technocracy technocracy normally is basically a leadership uh, by engineers, scientists and leaders of the, each field of uh, science basically they do decisions on their field and then kind of collective leadership uh, kind of technology focus which already is in the game in form of different uh, governments but I will do a bit different like science directorate is very very similar and enlightened monarchy maybe a bit as well but this is a bit different this has a more uh, like a worship of a technology style and uh, then we're gonna have a second one which is gonna be the advanced version of this and we'll call it uh, the, 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 the technological ascendancy so we better ourselves through technology to become um, these more like ascended beings is the this form of government government and as you can see, these are just a, these are comments. When you start a line with this, it actually doesn't do anything in the file itself. It's just a comment line in there, so it's easier to read through the file, especially if it's someone else going through it later. Then we need to grab this line, which will be the same as this. So here we have our spirituality. Then close the bracket there, and same thing for the ascendancy down here, just gonna remove that bit there and grab that as well, here. So now we have a basic <laughs> basic structure in there. Uh, you can do custom icons for your uh, own uh, governments. I did do for these, prepared them uh, previously. So it's just an icon and point to the graphics file in a DDS form again, so use GIMP or some other program with a DDS plugin to edit the files. If you need more, more information on that, check out my uh, portrait video, for example. And also provide, a, again, link for the GIMP and the extension below the video as well, so if you need to get those. 
So same for both of them. I prepared them beforehand. If you don't put a, an icon there, it's just going to show a question mark instead of your owner one. And uh, the file name here needs to match this here. So technocracy ascendancy and technocracy spiritual needs to match this uh, this file name in the governments. You can see the path here for that. You can also uh, find the path if you don't want to find it from my video. Just scroll down all the way to the bottom of the governments. There is uh, the machine consciousness and you can just pick the line from there and find uh, these uh, files in there. So we have icons now. So I'm going to add the potential. A lot of these other governments have this potential hidden uh, trigger, not country type Fallen Empire. So Fallen Empire is going to uh, have this. So I'm going to add both of that, those uh, in here. Even though Fallen Empire could probably be this one, should probably be this one, one of them. But I'm going to add it there. Next thing we need is ethics. Which ethics do you need to take uh, to get this uh, government type? Usually it's uh, in, inside this or, so you have to have militaristic or fanatic militarist to be military democracy and you cannot have the collectivist or ethic collectivist. I went a bit different with these and I instead of uh, having or I added and in there. So this is what it lo looks like the, uh, in my file, the ethics and. So we need to fulfill both of these demands. So we need to be individualists and fanatic spiritualists at the same time. Actually what I wanted to do is uh, materialist uh, fanatic spiritualist but because they are opposing uh, ethics uh, in the um, race creator, you cannot actually choose them. So I went with the individualist fanatic spiritualist for this. And I have the same one for this, of course. You can see that the and can be used in other places as well. Like here, in the elections and all or that. Or this. So this is where I stole the and for them and saw how to use them properly. Alright, well, let's go back. So the ne next thing we need is uh, what modifiers our uh, government will do. So let me just grab a modifier there then. And we'll grab that line, put it there, and just copy paste this. We're gonna leave it empty for now because I'm not gonna add modifiers yet, but we will. And uh, this is uh, this uh, ruler type uh, is gonna be ruled by kind of chosen leaders who are gonna be leading it until death, basically. These venerable old men of the science world who know better and tell you what to do. So it's going to be kind of monarchy type of a leadership. So you need to use, for monarchies, if you just look down at the monarchies, there is has air and use her regnal names. So we're going to use those. You don't have to do this, of course, but whatever floats your boat and what kind of government you're making, I'm using a, this type this time. Then we're going to have to have, have a ruler title, what kind of a uh, title our ruler will have. And uh, we're going to call uh, the ruler on this uh, spiritual technology. He's going to be supreme tech priest. So it kind of shows that uh, there's a technology and uh, the worship of technology in the same one. So there are tech priests. This, of course, brings in mind uh, something like uh, Adeptus Mechanicus from uh, Warhammer 40k. And then uh, down here in the advanced version, we're going to call them ascendants, as they have ascended uh, the mortal bonds into the higher beings through the technology. And for this uh, also you want uh, to add a pickable from start, so as it's a upgradable one, you cannot choose it from start. But I'm gonna comment it out for this purpose, uh, purpose of this video so I can show it you in the game. So it will be pickable from start. Except uh, it's gonna require something which prevents me from uh, doing it as well. Get to that in a second. And uh, in the base form of the government, uh, govern government, yes, government, you want to have uh, this line. So, to what government it upgrades. If you have a government you don't want to upgrade, then just leave this line out. But we want the upgradable government type. So, upgrade to this is the technology, ascendancy, which matches this line, of course. You could even have a government that evolves multiple times. Not just uh, from this uh, spiritual into the ascendancy, you could have uh, multiple steps in there. 
and I'll show you how to do that as well. So normally, let's scroll down. So this is the democracy military here, and then the ascended version, and they, they have this uh, prerequisite here, which uh, is the tech galactic administration, and uh, this can be th different technologies. So you could uh, require different techs, for example, to level up the government multiple times throughout the game. And it would be really interesting to add a customer tech into the game if you want to have some really interesting uh, customer government to just uh, do that step-by-step uh, -step upgrading of it. But for uh, our uh, Ascendancy, I decided uh, that we need uh, the default galactic administration and uh, the gene tailoring because uh, we are improving ourselves through technology, so gene tailoring makes sense. There's probably other modern technologies as well, which would be kind of interesting to use for that. I just uh, picked uh, the gene tailoring for now. And uh, then the only thing, only thing we are missing currently from this file is uh, the modifiers. And I, I decided uh, that uh, because this is kind of bettering yourself through technology race uh, out government, I wanted to focus on leaders and uh, the science. So for this uh, base level, I gave them a, a bit of leader age, made my leaders a bit more, 20% more expensive because uh, well, they are a bit harder to get, those supreme scientists. And then uh, I gave a 10% increase on all researchers. I did it this way because uh, I wanted to focus that it's engineering, physics, and social science uh, so that all these different uh, sciences are represented in the government. I could have done just a plain uh, plus 10% science increase if I really wanted to, but I wanted to focus on this one. And then uh, in the advanced version, I decided the uh, same thing again, so I went with the leader age and uh, leader skills levels, so they start at a higher level, and they also cost now twice as more than normal because they are these uh, technologically advanced beings <laughs> that are leading. I also added uh, these uh, in there. so. Through this advancement, we gain a bit more influence, and we also, this is the all research. So it's the same bonus still as this one, but it just uh, shows up in here instead. Although it's not exactly exactly same, because this works uh, for the tiles, and if you get research from somewhere else, this one adds to every, every science in here. So it's a tiny bit better than this, but almost basically the same, except uh, like the research stations affect this one, but not these. And then I added a uh, population, uh, other species happiness, so because we are these ascended uh, strange beings, uh, other races are not really <laughs> liking us or not understanding us. And that's uh, what we need in the government file, and this should be in, in your uh, mod folder normally, but we'll just save it here for now. And save it. And let me just uh, make sure I did a uh, everything correctly, I'll copy-paste these properly here and fix that. There, and save again. And then we need to go to the localization file, which is this uh, file in here. And in the localization file, we need to find government. So I'm just gonna go and go to the find function and go find govern... If you can type properly, government. And let's try governments. So you need to find uh, this uh, governments section here, and then you just uh, need to add a couple lines in here. So you need to, as you can see, there is the military di dictatorship and the description for the military uh, dictatorship is as well. So you need to match these again into there. So for example, this one in here, then do this. And then just, uh, what do you want to call it, in-game, like the in-game uh, title, which I wanted to call Spiritual Technocracy, so basically opposite of this. If you don't do these lines into the file, you're going to see this in the game as the description. But these are uh, just to uh, make it look a bit, bit nicer. And then we need to do the same uh, for the other, uh, other one as well. So we'll throw a line in there, and then the Ascendancy is technological Ascendancy. And then you need to type the 
let's, let's grab this and then we need a description so we'll just replace that part there disk zero this government is in form of autocracy with a ruler blah 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 so you just need to replace the description here and it just tells you what the description uh, the re uh, government does in the game and i'll just replace them with my pre-made descriptions and i will we'll read them when we get into the game so these just go here and then that's it you're done now if uh, if you wanted to make those uh, custom icons do them now as well and then we can just launch the game so let me just uh, find my steam and plop up my stellaris play if you were doing the proper mod uh, route you would have to enable the mod now and then launch the game but more about that in another video There's my Stellaris. So, new game, create new, select, and we go directly into the government and ethics. So, you can immediately see that there is a bit more in here because this scrolls down. So, there we go spiritual and technology up there, and our technological ascendancy up there as well. And this wouldn't normally show in here, but I made it uh, for the purpose of this video just to show it to you guys. And the pick up let start, no, was I commented out. Just keep it there if you want. Don't want them to show up in here. And uh, to choose this uh, technocracy, we needed uh, the individualist and fanatic spiritualist. So we'll pick that. And uh, the individualist, and it shows up as choosable. One. And then there's the technological ascendance. Even though it shows uh, we can take it, we cannot because we don't have the science required. And uh, you can see my custom icons here. So I, I used uh, the icon from the science directorate, which is the materialistic version of this kind of science leader version. But we are more like a spiritual version. And uh, usually these are uh, like more spiritual, like the divine mandate uses uh, this purple color. So I went uh, with the purple color because of that. I just took this picture and color uh, changed it into the other one. As you can see, this is orange normally, and I went with the purple instead and this one uh got the same thing <laughs> it's normally purple i went with a different actually more science color the orange one kind of funnily enough but yeah there we go and uh, you can see that my description is showing there so this form of government is controlled by engineers scientists and other technical the technical experts who are in control of decision making in their respective fields approach the technology is one of scripture and worship and uh, they believe knowledge is the true manifestation of divinity in the universe and all creatures and artifacts that embody knowledge are holy because of it. Most of the more higher ranking people in the state have few organic parts left and uh, eventually become more machine than man. And then we have the technological ascendancy here and this is the advanced version of the previous one and this form of government believes in ascending ascending the mortal bonds through technology leaders of the state are viewed as godlike ascended beings who have uh, been enhanced immensely through technological advancement ageless divine and utterly alien to the common man these divine gods span the cosmos with their mind and guide their people into further betterment of their whole race so that's my two custom races <laughs> uh, sorry governments not races and you can see the bonuses show up here, just nice, 100 years lifespan levels and all of that. Some of them might have few issues. There was some problem with the mon monthly influence bonus with uh, trades. I'm not sure exactly if it works with this as well. But yeah, you can use uh, pretty much all the existing uh, trade government ethics bonuses as the government bonus as well. So there you go. That's how you make a custom government. Feel free to send uh, questions, and also if you have any modding ideas, feel free to leave a comment as well. I'll try to see if I can figure out how to do things, and then I'll prop, plop a video up for you guys to watch. Also, if you like to watch a bit of Stellaris being played or any other games, you can check the Let's Plays on my channel as well, and other guides, reviews, and stuff like that. And I also live stream games like this and many other on Nardo TV every day. So thank you for watching this morning video, and I'll see you guys next time.